So this is your Google Nest, uh, third generation. Um, this is just the main screen. So it currently tells us what our temperature of the property is um, and what we've set it to. So the main screen there says 20 degrees. That's what we've told the boiler to come on at and reach the temperature. And if we twist the top up there, that is basically just turning it up and down. So at the minute, you can see how it says 20.5 in that corner. That's the current room temperature. So what that means is because we've only got it set at 20, the boiler won't come on now because it's already warmer than the target. If we want the boiler on, we can flick it above that and it will turn orange and it will even predict how long it will take to get there, 35, 40 minutes. And what you can see is the bigger jump. So if I go from 20.5 to 24.5, a four degree jump, it's gonna take two and a half hours. It's quite a long time for your heating to be on at full whack. I'm just gonna turn that back to 20, just there. We can also go into the settings of this Google Nest by clicking the actual screen and you can see that there's some settings just there. So let's run through these and we just twist the top to get around the icons. <clears throat> so we've got settings. There's home and away assist. So it will predict and look at your phone data to see if you've come home or not to turn your heating on and off. There's your main eco setting, which we've currently left at 20 degrees. So that means this property will never drop below 20 degrees. You can change that, uh, but just bear in mind, if you put eco at say 15, when you, if it does drop to 15 and you turn the heating up to 20, it's gonna have a five degree jump and it will use lots of gas. So we always advise eco to be 18, 19 or 20, depending on the comfort of your property. You've got safety temperature there. You've got the other products. You've got the display and all we do to go into this is we just click the screen and we can change the display so we'll put that on medium you can see it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory if we want to change the date and time we can do that there that's your app if you ever want to connect your app with your phone or it goes off go to that and click it and you can set that up Tells you the location, not just there, your internet signal. Whereabouts the nest is, so this one's in the living room. And there's lots of different features that you can go on into there. And all you do is just keep scrolling and clicking into it. Okay. So we've done. So let's just go back into the settings and just see what else we've got. So we've got history. So yesterday the heating was on for three and a half hours. So that's pretty good. Um, that's not very long at all. So because this one's left at 20 degrees, it comes on for a half an hour, 20 minutes, tops your house up, goes off. If I boost it up to 21, it comes on for a little bit longer. Um, but because the house is generally quite warm because it's left at 20, it actually doesn't need to come on too much. You can see just three and a half hours in the day. That's pretty good. And that would have been at very low gas rate as well, because again, the eco is 20. So we're not asking the boiler to really ramp the gas up. We're keeping it ticking over between 19, 20, 21, and it's perfect. You can go to schedule. <clears throat> so if we go there, that's when you can set your times up. If you do want it to come on and off at different times, you can do that in there. We twist, twist around to the top where the leaf signal is. That is the eco setting. So we can just leave it on eco all day if we like. And if we go around to the top where it's mode, um, we can turn the heating on or off. So if it's off, obviously it will never come on. So we want that heating mode on. And it's pretty self-explanatory, really. Um, that is it on the Google Nest. Obviously, you'll have the app on your phone as well. So you'll be able to control everything from your phone. But if you don't have the phone and you just had the standalone Nest on the wall, then it's as simple as just turning it up and down 
or clicking the settings and doing what you want. If you want to schedule it, just twist it to schedule. And you can set your times up there, look. And you can even change the temperature depending on the time. Lots of different schedules you can do. So it's very easy, very easy to use and a good display. Um, the one thing you do have to bear in mind if you have this Nest or if you have it installed, obviously it needs to be hardwired or plugged in. Um, but yeah, re really good bit of kit, good smart control, good on the app and very easy to use. The screen does go to sleep, so you don't need to worry about that. But if you walk in front of the screen, it lights up as soon as you walk past. So that's how to best kind of use the Nest and how to delve into the settings.